Our beloved companion of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Uthman bin Affan radiallahu an, or Hadrat Uthman Ghani. He came to be known as Al Ghani, the generous, from our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's a story, a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, my daughter is getting married. Um, he needed some resources. So the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent him to Hazrat Uthman Ghani radiallahu He went to Hazrat Uthman Ghani radiallahu an, and he sees him upset and talking to his khadim on putting too much salt at first. And he was saying to the khadim that if you put less, we could have used some for tomorrow. So this man thinks he's worrying about salt. So how am I going to ask him about any resources for, for the wedding? So he goes back to the Prophet Wasallam. Then the Prophet Wasallam sends him back to Hazrat Uthman radiallahu And he goes back and he sees him upset again at the khadim for putting too much oil in the lamp. And said that this oil could have been used tomorrow. So he thinks again, how is he going to help me? So he goes back to the Prophet ﷺ, and the Prophet ﷺ sends him back to Hazrat Uthman Ghani radiallahu anh. And when he gets there this time, he sees him about to get upset again, but before that he introduces himself, uh, Ya Uthman radiallahu anh, um, the Prophet ﷺ sent me, and my daughter's getting married. So as soon as he said that, he said, yes, come, come with me. He takes him to a room, and there's all his resources, all his treasures, everything's in that room. He says, take what you need, it's all yours. So this man's just standing there shocked in awe, it's like, it's just the same man who was worrying about how much salt goes in or how much oil, but he has all these treasures. And right then, Hazrat Usman Ghani radiallahu and looks him in the eyes and he addresses him and says, people say that this is all Uthman Ghani's, but the moment I became the part of Ummah of the beloved Prophet وسلم, everything belonged to him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None of it is mine. When we use oil or salt, I hesitate on keeping anything for myself. Even though he's, he's, he's the wealthiest man at the time, he says, I hesitate on keeping anything to myself and I consider it haram to use anything more than that I need. And that's why I was telling the khadim not to use more because we can save that for those who are in need.